I'm ready for my close-up now, Mr. DeMille. <laughs> They're called, um, damn it dolls. It's a girl. She's wearing a dress. Yeah, the, I have the guys are kind of cooler, though, because they have the... They're in these new wave outfits. You know, the purple and the blue and... Yeah, kind of, yeah, they probably took E.T., this idea from the damn it dolls. They call it drill dolls. Oh, look at his face. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> I hated Barbie dolls. I like the way they look, but I remember I used to get Barbie dolls, and the first thing that would come off was the hair. I'd get scissors from my mom, and, and she'd go, okay, don't cut their hair. i go, okay, mom. And I'd like, chop off my head, little butch haircuts and stuff. <laughs> I did little kittles, too. Remember this? I have about, like, three big bags of, of um, jewelry. I don't wear it all. I, mean, I don't even wear jewelry that much anymore, um, except for these. But I, I always bring my big bags with me. There's no reason to. But um, and there's a good, like, I have this, this little little miniature teddy bear that I bring with me everywhere. Little things like that, but, like, good luck stuff. But uh, the bags of jewelry, I mean, I bring them everywhere with me. If I'm gone overnight, they come with me. It's kind of... You never know. You might need your jewelry. We all live sort of far from each other. Um, we live in Los Angeles, but if you know Los Angeles, it's like real spread out. So it's, um, you know, we're just like sisters, and, and we're all looking out for, you know, each other all the time. And we all love each other very much. <laughs> I was working graveyard shift at Fast Gas on Thousand Oaks Boulevard. And um, I thought that was, it was like really horrible. I couldn't stand it anymore. So the next morning I woke up and said, um, I'm leaving, bye. And I just like packed a suitcase. Didn't know where I was gonna live, but I moved in with some friends that I had known. And um, when I go back to Thousand Oaks, um, I don't know, a lot of the kids they know that I went to Newbury Park High School, all that kind of stuff. And it's funny because the people that used to torture me in high school now are my best friends. It always works like that. Well, this is my favorite jump kit right here. This is my favorite setup. I use this kit for recording always because these drums tend to sound better than any of the other ones there that I have. In particular, this snare. This is a very good one. It's a 57 WFL. Really good drum. Always sounds good. I think that's pretty obvious if you just watch any drummer, you know, you see who works really hard when, when I mean, everybody works really hard, but it is of course, much more physically demanding. I was going to say, I bought these these weights and this board and everything to work out on because I was, you know, I sat down to play drums the other day and I haven't played them in a long time. I mean, really played for like an hour straight or something. And I was like practically dead when I got them playing. It was terrible. Christ, I started to feel really old because my, my head was sort of pounding. And I thought, oh, no, what's wrong? <laughs> really, the first instrument that I ever had was a banjo. <laughs> and, uh... And I, <laughs> and I remember my mom, you know, it cost about $100 or something. I was a little kid with a banjo. <laughs> I fell down the steps with it and broke it in a million pieces. As I say, the band really does you know, dictate uh, where and when I'm going to be every day. And they come, that's, of course, first and foremost. I'm sure everybody else would tell you that, too. Because, let's face it, if it wasn't for the band, I wouldn't be sitting here right now, so... It's an important thing. Noodles, come here. Come here, say hi. Come here. She's usually busy sleeping all day. Come here, hon. Say hi. She's from, she's an import from Baltimore. My brother sent her out on a World Airways flight. She was trying to commit suicide when he found her. She was in the middle of a road. I love to come home here to California just for what it is. It's sunny and it's nice. And I like driving my Corvette around, you know, with the top off when, when it, the, the sun's shining, which is just practically every day. During the summer, I have barbecues just about every weekend. And they're always fun, so the neighbors are really used to that. I'm the wildest thing around here. <laughs> Noodles and myself, of course. <laughs>